Assalamu alaikum to all the students out there. Miss Samia here. I welcome you all to the virtual learning English language of Guards Public School 1. Today, we are going to learn about present indefinite tense, forming the sentences in affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms. Use of present indefinite tense. It is used to talk about things that happen on a regular basis or facts that stand true all time. Things to remember. A subject is doer or performer of the action in a sentence. A verb is an action word performed in a sentence. An object is a receiver of an action followed by the verb or you can say for whom the action has been performed. Rules to follow while making a sentence of present indefinite tense. Affirmative. Subject plus first form of verb along with object. If subject is singular, we add s or es to the verb. This will not be applicable if the subject is plural. Negative. Subject plus helping verb. Here we have two helping verb, do or does. If your subject is singular, you will use does as your helping verb. But if your subject is plural, you will use do as your helping verb. To make this sentence negative, we add not. We will add first form of verb along with our object. Interrogative. To begin the sentence, we require helping verb first. For this, you have to consider the subject first. If your subject is singular, you will use does. If it's plural, you will use do. After considering the subject and using the helping verb, you will add first form of verb along with object. Since the sentence is in question or interrogative form, you will must end it with a question mark. Rules for subject pronoun are same as for affirmative, negative and interrogative. But the key points to remember are using subject pronoun like he, she, it. For affirmative, S or ES must be added with first form of verb. For negative, helping verb does not will be used with first form of verb. For interrogative, helping verb does will be used with first form of verb. Ruler subject pronoun like we, they. For affirmative sentence, we use only first form of verb. For negative, we use do not as our helping verb along with first form of verb. For interrogative, we use do as our helping verb along with first form of verb. Forming sentences using subject pronoun like I or you. For affirmative, we use first form of verb. For negative, we use do not as our helping verb with first form of verb. For interrogative, we use do as our helping verb with first form of verb. Let's look into some examples. Sentence number one, affirmative. Ali drinks tea at breakfast. Since Ali is a singular subject, we add S with our verb, forming it into drinks. Negative. Ali does not drink tea at breakfast. Interrogative. Does Ali drink tea at breakfast? Our subject is singular, so we have used does as our helping verb. Since we are using does as our helping verb, we will not add S with the verb. Sentence number two. Affirmative. Birds fly high in the sky. Since our subject is plural, we haven't added s or es with our verb. Negative. Birds do not fly high in the sky. Interrogative. Do birds fly high in the sky? Here our subject is plural, so we have used do as our helping verb for negative and interrogative. Sentence number three. Affirmative. The earth revolves around the sun. The subject is singular, so we add s with the verb, forming it into revolves. Negative. The earth does not revolve around the sun. Interrogative. Does the earth revolve around the sun? Our subject is singular, so we have used does as our helping verb for negative and interrogative. Since we are using does as our helping verb, we will not add s with the verb. Students. Remember, it's a natural fact sentence, 
So whenever you form such sentences, you will always use present indefinite tense. Let's do our self-assessment to get to know how much we have learned. Students, you can see 5 sentences. You just need to figure out the correct option out of 2 given at the end of each sentence. I know you can. Your time starts now. Here are the answers. I am sure you have figured out all the correct ones. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned and enjoyed it as well. Stay home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.